Hello, my beautiful Scorpio vibe drivers. Welcome to your November 16th through 30th, 2022 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective reading for all Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, man, if this ain't winning, I don't know what is. This is the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Garden of Eden, very much in alignment with abundance and self-fulfilling prophecy of the continued flow of this money. Remember, this is money growing on trees, y'all. Literally creating it yourself by believing that it's possible to do so. This is the kind of energy that you hold within yourself and you know that you know that you know that no matter what comes at you, that the universe will provide a way and that anything that turns you upside down, you'll land on your feet and anyone who tries to go against you actually pushes you further into the victory. So as you know this about yourself and you know that the universe is giving you the conspiracy energy of conspiring in your favor, bringing you exactly what you need, exactly when you need it every single time, well, this is living your best possible life. Because this is the Ten of Cups. And it's the energy of fully blossomed harmony, peace, happiness, and joy. Divine alignment in all areas. Your entire household is swept up in the energy of this goodness. So, we, we will believe and receive. Yes, we will. And yes, yes, thank you, universe. Here we go. And so it is. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. So we have the archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection. This is the energy of trumpeting or heralding in the announcement that something that you thought was off the table is now back and in full, wonderful acceptance energy. So yes and yes. Divine restoration coming in as well. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Scorpio, sun, moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So this is the messenger. He's coming in to give you whatever information you need. I call him the informer. <laughs> so even if you didn't know you needed to know it, he's going to tell it. And it's good, good information too, because you, you need to hear it. This is where you're at a place where you feel like you're in quiet desperation or maybe not so quiet, but all, but absolute being in the place where you feel like you just don't know what to do next to make this go on and happen. You've done every single thing you can and you just feel like you're kind of in a place of being stuck in uh, between a rock and a hard place, right? So this is the moment where you're at the edge of a breakthrough. Do not give up. When you're in this, min this, this energy, it means something is about to happen. You're as close to that edge of that as you can get because the next card after this nine in the sequence is the ten of rods, which is the breakthrough has happened and the, re and the resistance, is the struggle is over, right? So just hang in there. You just have to be present to win. You don't want to walk away five minutes before your miracle. Now, oh, <laughs> Boom! Ten of rods. <laughs> oh wow! I was gonna say the next card in the deck, and that's why I was like the next card in the in the sequence. That's so funny. I called that. Okay, thank you, Spirit. There's your ten of rods. So don't quit. It's about to happen. So this is where he's been burdened with this heavy heaviness and carrying it around and schlepping it all over the place. And now we can release that and lay down the burden and have a brand new energy of standing upright and being able to stand in our victory. So yay, Team Scorpio. And we have the beautiful energy of alignment in 
good communication and solid foundation, whether it's in your household or in your energy of your work. This is because the rods do mean work. It's the energy of absolutely being able to be in a solid grounded energy, whether it's either of those. So solid energy. Some of you may be in the energy of finally getting uh, the nuptials taken care of, but this is the energy of of all of that. And the reason I go with the nuptials is because the old school meaning of this is the marriage is in the cards. So it, it can mean something that you're actually taking on as a, as something you're putting yourself into, you know, for a long duration. And, Ooh, really nice start here. This is the star card. This is your Aquarius major arcana energy. And it is the energy of your soul's wish being told yes by the universe. Supercalifragilistic ex uh, ascension energy as well. So beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes and yes. We take that and gladly move forward. We have Archangel Michael showing up to help with that energy. It's also air signs. So Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini major arcanas with this masculine king. So Archangel Michael is a protector and the obstacle remover as you move forward. Heart's desire being granted, the Nine of Cups. So right here in the middle of all of this, you've got your heart and your soul's desire being granted in this energy of your household, relationships, love, life, and spiritual life. And we have the Hierophant. So if you're applying for a job, this is the acceptance of that. Um, this is they're saying, yes, we would love for you to be part of our organization. The Hierophant is the Taurus Major Arcana, but it represents the energy of a large affiliate something that is a large corporation or government agency or entity and even university and school boom chakalaka the tower comes down we like that energy this is releasing from whatever's been holding you stuck or, or blocked this this lightning bolt energy is taking that tower out so it can no longer hold you captive and it can no longer block your energy it's coming down and when it does the open, the open energy now brings in this plethora of the Seven of Cups, the dump truck loan of blessings, as I lovingly refer to this card. It's a super energy of creating and receiving the abundance. The only, ca the, the only caveat to it is that it all shows up at the same time. So don't let yourself get freaked out by it. Just do one thing at a time. Take Pace yourself and, and, and go with it, and you will work yourself right through the things you need to do here. Neither of them, none of the seven, are any more important than the other. So it, it's not going to push you or rush you. Just allow yourself not to push or rush. So here's the nine of pentacles that we had earlier, which is the energy of the Garden of Eden. And absolutely reflecting all of that energy here in this reading so far, we will receive it gladly. We have the world card as your underlier in the beginning of this clarification deck. So it is the energy of upgrade. It is the energy of celebration. It is the energy of a vortex being created so that a doorway of ascension opens up for you so that you can step into a higher position. So it can mean a promotion here in this energy. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all scorpio sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have this lovely page of pentacles right on top of the messenger bringing you the energy of that. So hallelujah. Beautiful, beautiful. Page of pentacles with, that's the, he's bringing in the offer, whatever the financial offer is. She, he's bringing it in with the informer there. Now you got another page and he's telling you what action to take next as this breakthrough comes in you're going to need to really get after it so he's here to tell you what to do where to be when to be there all of that good stuff he's that messenger telling you what action is now appropriate now this breakthrough energy if you can see he's lifted the burden 
And there's an offer coming in that looks like it's pigtailing off of that. So understand the offer may not look like what you think it should, but that doesn't mean it's not the right thing. It's just a blessing in disguise or a blessing in a brown paper bag, as I would say. And this is the hand of the universe offering this cup and he's ignoring it. He's ignoring it because it looks like these. Well, my darlings, it is the Holy Grail. It is not like those. So please vet it solidly before you say no. Because there will be a caveat that will come in that you think is, oh, that doesn't fit me. Oh, I don't, I don't, that's not for me. Hold, hold the phone and check it out before you, before you dismiss it. And there's the Knight of Pentacles. So this is something that's been allotted by the universe to come in and bring you the abundance you need right to your front door. So. Yes and yes, the courier has been dispatched and is on the way. We have the moon, which is the Pisces moon. You see the light going up toward the moon. Well, this is your creative source energy that you're funneling through yourself from divine into your soul's desire, right? Because there it is. And as this says, yes, the manifestation becomes in the now. So see that as the embryo that's being brought into form. And we have the, the Knight of Swords with a little bit of, of, of energy of feeling like you've been left out in the cold or forgotten. Um, you have not. Remember, particles must form solid before they can be seen as matter in our dimension. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean the particles aren't there. They're trying to bring that, that energy of excitement together and cling into the thing that you're manifesting. So it is there. It's just not fully formed in this dimension. Oh, I got two cards. There's the nine of cups and the nine of rods. So the nine, you'll be glad for having stood out through all of the process when you get this beautiful heart's desire being granted. That's going to help in that nine of rods energy as well. So you've got a couple of nine of rods. You have more than one thing working at the same time. Now, we have to all believers. This is the place. It's a, it's a specific card. It is a bonus card that comes in this deck. And this is the place we have to be when we're in a place of manifesting. Believing for our best and highest good and not accepting anything less. To all believers means stand in your faith and be relentless. Do not give up. To all believers. As you believe... So shall it be unto you. There's the, so there's the end of that, that worry, the fatigue, the feeling of being under attack or targeted. The Ten of Swords comes with this beautiful tower card. So we love that it's all going to, the dust will clear and it will all be done. No more feeling like you're being bombarded by, by the, the outside energy. Now, when <laughs> this is certainly correct, the Seven of Cups brings in the energy of the Eight of Swords. As you know, the Eight of Swords is the over-analysis paralysis card. So when you get overwhelmed by the abundance that comes in through here, and you think, oh my gosh, I don't have time to do all of it. I don't know how I'm going to get it all done. Stop and breathe. And then go within and ask for guidance from, from Divine. Remember, you're not in this by yourself. Allow yourself to be guided. Ask for more understanding or more information. It will be given. The only way to change your outside or external experience is to go within and connect to your higher self. It already knows all the answers as well as it knows it's going to be the next card because there's your high priestess energy. So beautiful yes from the universe. You will be connected. You do have all the answers and all you have to do is allow yourself to get in the flow. And, and it's, it's really, guys, it's really about surrendering your resistance. You have to surrender, allow, and receive. That's all. Get out of your way and allow the things to move in your direction. Stop trying to tell it how it should be and accept it as it is. It may look different than you think. That doesn't mean it's not the right thing. So I send you lots of abundance, lots of blessings, lots of peace, happiness, joy, prosperity, divine healing, and all good things to you, my Scorpios. I'll see you again in December. Namaste.